Everybody who and welcome to Nevs Gaming it is another season of Nevscraft. We have the new 1.20 update. Yeah. And we have entered the world with the first people in this world. So I thought we'd set up a little welcome gift for the few people that will be joining the server. So before we start, make sure you subscribe so you stay in touch with the whole series. Right, let's get some Gifts ready, get some basic tools, and then go from there. Well, that almost brought a tear to my eye after that video, remembering on a previous season what everybody had built. It's absolutely majestic in my eyes. But looking forward, not forgetting the past, not forgetting previous mistakes and lessons learned, we progress to the future. And this season, I want to mimic that as a such by building a museum and collecting lots of different things in the uh, server in things like one of a kind items like rare rare items things like that is what i want to build so i want to build a giant museum that will add different wings to it from the desert era to oh, we've got what other biomes are there oh, i can't think of any biomes a snowy biome biomes things like that you know the possibilities that we could have in these bio in these wings could be endless Th don't forget the animals as well that we'll have in there that's my original plan. We may twist and turn as we progress through the season, but that is that. And if you look behind me, this is what the new people should venture and see as they join the server from afar. See, behind me, I've made a little, just a little ruin of what once was. I built this on stream, so if, make sure you go check me out on Twitch, because that's where I usually stream at. But this is just a simple ruin looking over at the entrance to this riverbed. Once strong guard, once a strong guard. Now, just a simple, humble little ruin of a majestic kingdom that once stood. So, I've chosen to do a ruin to mimic what I want to achieve this season. And I like it. I like that this is the first thing that people are going to see. And I hope you do too. So, let's take a closer look. We've obviously used cobblestone and stone. And we've got some vines hanging down on the outside. It's mob proof. Oh, look. The vines are creeping inside. And that's what I like. It's overgrowing as such. You know, nature's coming back and taking it over. But we've got this trap door here. What could this be? Well... If we have a cheeky little look, it's almost a secret cellar entrance. Down there is our mines where we'll go down to and reach the different levels of the different ores, which we did and got quite a few actually. If we move on through, we'll go to this, through this door here. And this is my little starter house here, our original chain rail armor that we first got. We've got a bed and now a little fox that we found, a nice little smoky fireplace. Uh, we've got a furnace set up here, a simple little storage quarter. And in here, for new members to join, we've got iron armor with an iron sword. And a few iron pickaxes in there for them if needed. And we've got a sheep. I did have um, another sheep, but uh, that sort of passed away. We won't say why. Moving down, we've got this little dock area where we've got an ocelot. We ventured around the shores of the kingdom to see what we could find. And there they have it. A little ocelot, our first ocelot pet. 
I, if you look, if we back up here, you can see the dock is a nice little ruined entrance to what originally was the main castle. This is where they would import and export all the goods necessary for the castle's survival. Going up in back up into here now, we'll uh, have a quick sleep in the old bed. Ah, such a nice sleep there. We can see in the distance now, it's all nice and bright. So, we'll adventure back outside. Not less letting Mr. Fox out. By the way, comment down below, what should we name Mr. Fox? He was the first animal we caught, and that's the first one I want to save. What should we name him? Comment down below. Quick exit here, closing the trap doors back up so mobs don't fall in, if they manage to enter the base. We'll venture around. We've got some of that lovely little rock formations going on out here, as if this was originally an outer wall, now just resembling a fallen, well, fallen stone, where you can see little humps and bumps. We've cobblestoned the outline of the here to mimic walls falling and collapsing and slowly crumbling down. Moving through, we've hello. Got to watch those, those spiders in the trees. You never know when we'll find them. Well, that's a creeper. That is a creeper running away from the creeper. Oh no, he set aside something out. Let's uh, avoid this creeper. There's spiders and bobs everywhere. That's trouble with being in. <laughs> Being in a wooded area, mobs are very spawned because it's not mobs will spawn because it's not lit up and boom, not much damage there. Only two blocks at all, that's fine. We've got a few bamboo shoots here. We're going to be using a lot of bamboo this season just because it's easy to get, easy to make wood out of, and easy to use. And we can make lots and lots of things. Out. And I want to start, I want to build some stuff out of bamboo yet. I've not had a chance to actually build a block out of it. In fact, we'll do that now. We'll go over here to our other bamboo area. We've got a few sugar canes growing here. We've got some melons and pumpkins growing here. Now, in order to have this museum, we've got to adventure. In order to build our museum, we must go out and explore. And in order to do that, we're going to need to kit up. That means we're going to need to get better armor, better weapons, and a good food source. Now, I've already started it here. Where are we? Where are we? Nope, that's not the hole I want. Then we've got a chicken in there. We've got a small wheat farm here. And as we go around the corner, we've got our cows growing there, which will be our first starter cow farm. We need some more iron, though, in order to achieve that. Now, where did I see that other chicken? I know I'm getting distracted. There it is. I did say we were going to build something out of bamboo, but we'll do that in a second. Let's lure this chicken into the chicken hole. In we go! Ah, there we go. Fan tab you list. Let's breathe them up. And then we should get a little baby chicken. There. Look at a baby chicken. Look at a baby chicken. Oh, it's so good. Look at a baby chicken. Anyway, moving around, let's chop some of this bamboo down. And show how we can build our first bamboo blocks and see what we can actually make out of them. Now, I know we need about nine to make a full bam bamboo block but that shouldn't be a problem with how fast bamboo grows so in future i think we'll need to find an area for a machine uh, for our machine our bamboo machine to go we'll need it for our industrial district we want this fair way away so it doesn't get too involved in our original starting area but we want it close enough which is easy to get to right let's head over to the crafting table where kindly the men of old, women of old, and the creatures of old left one out here for us to use. And look, there it is. Three. That's our first bamboo. Bamboo? Bamboo block. The first uh, bamboo block of the game. So let's see what we can make. We can make bamboo planks. Oh, and look at the many, many items here. We've got fences, we've got signs got trap doors we can make sticks out of these oh some lovely trap doors there as well and oh, some doors fan tabby dozy that means we need to get all our bamboo up and running because this is going to be an ideal resource especially for burning 
Right, I'm going to end that first episode here because I am absolutely exhausted from mining, from building, from talking, and you're probably exhausted of listening to me. So I'm going to say, I've been Nev's Gaming, you've been amazing. I'm going to say a big toodaloo, and I'll see all you beautiful people in a few. Goodbye.